Hi, my name is Jason with PRP Seats. Today we are doing an install video on our new Razor 2 doors. We've gone ahead and done some simple prep work to make it easier for you. There is a safety bar that is bolted here and down to here. We've gone ahead and removed that. We have taken a ratchet tie down and we have ratchet tied down the A-pillar bars so they don't bow out on you when you remove the two bolts here. In this step on the passenger side door, we're gonna go ahead and start with the bracket that's been provided with you and you've got four, uh, two nuts and two bolts. And this is your passenger side. You could tell with the angle pointing your striker pin. Once you've gone ahead and installed your bracket, leave it loose so you could have it, uh, the proper adjustment when installing on your vehicle. Before moving to the next step and bringing your door over to your vehicle, there is one bolt that is underneath your seat. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and remove that before you bring over the door. After you get the door set and we had screwed in the T27 bolt, go ahead and tighten that down as tight as you can. And the next step that we're going to be doing is you're going to grab your 11 millimeter wrench and a four millimeter allen and on that first thing when we were doing the bracket and we wanted to get that adjustment right we want to go ahead and tighten those two bolts now when we took off the safety bar you had a nut and a bolt that had secured back here we're going to go ahead and reuse the stock bolt that came off now that we've got the bolt in there, we're gonna go ahead and use your 17 millimeter crescent wrenches to tighten everything down. You're gonna leave it a little snug so we have room for adjustment later on. In our next step, we're gonna go ahead and use a 15 millimeter wrench to work on your A-pillar bolts. Now this may be a little bit trickier. You're gonna have to maneuver this up and down a little bit. Let's go ahead. Don't forget your washers. Get a washer for your A-pillar bolts. Like I said, go ahead and maneuver this just a little bit to get that in there. <clears throat> you got another nut on this side. Tighten it down. We're not gonna go ahead and get that all the way tight yet. Now that we have all three points, your bolt back here, your bolt here, your two A-pillar bolts, we can go ahead and tighten everything down. Now that we have everything tightened down, your final step is to secure and align up your strike pin with our dual locking slam latch. In order to align up your strike pin with our dual locking slam latch, you wanna go ahead and do a test fit. Lock it in place. Check where you can see you do have adjustment. So let's go ahead and pop that back open. We notice that it's pretty much on the bottom. So with that, we'll take a 13 millimeter wrench and go ahead and tighten that down. 
And again, just leave it snug. We'll go back, we'll test it. See how that feels. door is done. Now that everything's tightened down, we've gotten the passenger side door all done, your strike pin works. Go ahead and repeat these steps that we've gone over with your driver's side door. Now that you've got your new PRP doors installed, we've added a new feature of being able to remove it. So getting into trailers, or if you don't want it on that day, pop them off, a couple of minutes, we'll show you how to do it. You got a four and a half millimeter Allen wrench, and you've got a number 11 wrench. Now that we have the bolts undone, that keeps that top hinge there, we'll go ahead, open it, open, open it a couple of inches, lift up. Take it off, and now you've got everything that's still secured that we put on earlier without the door. <laughs> 